What is up guys? Today I'll be reviewing CM10.1 on the Sprint Galaxy S3. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into settings. Let's go to about phone and you can see here signage mod version. Now this isn't nightly so don't come crying to me if your phone explodes. It does have bugs but yeah, don't, I just don't want you guys to think of it as a complete stable build yet. You are going to have bugs. It's as simple as that. It is a nightly build. But yeah, you can also see that we have Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool that you'll have the most updated version of Android. So yeah, um, if you guys are not familiar with CyanogenMod 10.1, it is a ROM based off of Android 4.2.1 and it is pretty cool because it comes with a lot of tweaks so yeah, I'm going to show you guys the tweaks in this video so pay attention under the settings you will have an interface uh, thread where you'll find launcher uh, log screen themes and system so basically in launcher this is just your launcher this is pretty much what's right here all your apps how you organize everything how everything looks so if you go into launcher you can set how many home screens you want you can set the different wallpaper you can do some little tweaks here and there such as resizing any widget that's a pretty good feature um, yeah it's pretty cool you can also edit the drawer so let's say you want to change the transition effect to a cube in you can go into your app drawer and you can see here that it sort of like has this cool transition so you can always change that that is what Trebuchet has to offer with the launcher settings uh, and of course you can do full screen mode now what's really cool about this is that if you want to play a game and if you don't want it to like mess you up I guess then you can have full screen mode and it won't show pretty much anything so I don't have any games installed on here but if you were to go into a game it wouldn't show like the status bar or anything else whoa that is crazy I don't know what just happened there as you can see this is a nightly so you are going to have problems such as those insane flickering problems but I'm not sure if that just happened because I turned on full screen mode or not uh, I have no idea but yeah let's hop into lock screen you can see here that we have screen security options as you usually get in normal Android 4.2.1 you have battery status you have slider shortcuts for your lock screen so let's say you want to assign this as something you would just how do I do this you just put it as like voice search bam save you're done go to your lock screen swipe up voice search there you go you can choose which one you want to so if you want to do that of course I have to do all this crap to get it all set up but anyways guys that was just a demonstration button actions you can edit these capacitive buttons down here menu and back you can make one of them recents if you don't want to hold down home you can do lots of stuff so let's say long press back button is going to bring up our flashlight let's long press it Uh, what's when's it gonna turn on turn on I'm long pressing you so as you can see that is another nightly issue flashlight does not work in that option but yeah let's go back into our lock screen oh button oh these were when we were in the lock screen disregard my comment just there let's hold down back you can see here that our flashlight just turned on as you can see that is pretty cool I find that feature of uh, very functional actually I would definitely use that a lot uh, let me go back to the lock screen and let's turn that off there we go alright so now let's go into let's see let's go into themes now now these are themes basically they're pretty much just themes that you would download either via APK the Play Store for CyanogenMod and basically you can just apply them and it will re-theme your status bar, your icons, really whatever the theme actually does. But yeah, that's pretty cool that uh, the theme chooser is implemented in the CyanogenMod. And then of course you have system, this is where the real goodies are at. You have status bar, you can edit your battery icons, let's say you want a circle with a percentage, you can see right up there it just changed to a circle with a percentage, that is pretty cool. Instantaneous awesomeness, brightness control, so let's say you want to just slide your finger along this to adjust the brightness, you can do that, although it is a little tricky to get it to work sometimes. 
but it's always usually done that. Quick settings panel, that is your panel right here on 4.2. You can do a quick pull down, so let's say you want it to be on the right side. Right side, bam, quick settings, left side, normal notifications. That is pretty cool. Reminds me a lot of the tablet functionality on Android 4.2. It's pretty cool. Auto close panel, so whenever you choose a quick setting, uh, the quick settings panel will close. Uh, let's see, uh, tiles and layout. You can change the layout of the displayed tiles. So basically, let's say you want brightness to be over there, you can always change that. That is pretty cool. And of course, you can have dynamic t uh, titles that will change, and that is pretty cool. And they will also be visible when something that you assigned is triggered. So that's pretty awesome. Notification drawer, power widget. Let's say you want that instead of your stupid quick settings panel. You get that. That's pretty cool. You can edit those widget buttons and the order. And of course, you can do the close drawer on toggle as well. Uh, let's hop into power menu. This is basically your little power menu right here when you hold down the power button. You can see here that we have different options. So let's say you want screenshot. Bam. Hold down power, take a screenshot. It's as easy as that. Let's hop into notification light. This is your little notification light right up here. Obviously you can't see it because I don't have a notification. But you can edit the colors. That is pretty awesome how it's already in there instead of having to install Lightflow or other third party uh, lighting app. So yeah, it's pretty great. Battery light, this is what happens when you are charging. You will see a little notification up here. Uh, it'll actually charge. Let me go ahead and pull off the battery of my Nexus 4 right here and let's go ahead and pop it into this. Alright, as you can see we have a little tiny green toggle up there. So let's say I want to make the fully charged toggle to a bluish color. Turn that on. As you can see it just turned to blue. So that is pretty cool. Let's say you want to make it pink. I uh, can't really pick pink there we go okay as you can see it is now pink so that's a really easy way to edit your battery light notification color and if you want to go into hardware keys these are basically your little buttons down here so you can edit those if you'd like to you can also display the three dot overflow menu button within apps and basically that's with HTC Sense now if you haven't seen a video of HTC Sense before you can see here that whenever you go into apps you'll see this little three button thing for the menu and if you want that then that's always a good alternative if you set your menu key to the recent apps so yeah that's just a quick idea but that's it in the interface options let's hop into advanced as you can see we have stuff that I don't even know about except for negative mode I really don't like that but yeah we got sensors you can calibrate your phone calibrate bam it's done so now you can play racing games while using the gyroscope you can enable the keys backlight so whether you want these little lights down here on or off you can edit those uh, and also sound you can uh, extra gain in voice calls so boost the volume that's always nice if your volume isn't loud enough you can also use dock USB audio that is pretty sweet alright scroll down you can see that we have nothing else to talk about that is it in signage mod settings so let's go and look at the apps that signage mod comes with it automatically comes with Apollo that's their little music manager app that they like to use um, it comes with file manager I really like the file manager on CM but I haven't been able to get root um, root access in the file manager for some reason uh, I can't access my root uh, files that's sort of weird but yeah, you get sound recorder. I think that usually comes in Android 4.2, but I sort of think it comes with Sound Mod 10.1. I am not sure. And of course, it comes with Torch and Voice Search. Obviously, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And you can pick which one you want. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, oops, nightly problems. What's happening? Okay. But yeah, guys, that is about it. Let me just show you the signage mod wallpapers. There's a lot of other signage mod stuff, but that's just like little tiny stuff that you will find while using the phone. I'll leave that as a surprise. But yeah, you can see that you got lots of awesome signage mod wallpapers. This one is probably my favorite, just this signage mod all around. It says some pretty awesome stuff. And this is my second favorite, and my third favorite is, uh, it's either between this one or this one. But yeah, this looks pretty sick if you just apply that. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. So I guess thanks for watching this video. 
Uh, I actually forgot to turn off the flashlight. That That's embarrassing because I said that I turned it off, but I guess I didn't. Oh, well, guys, thanks you for watching this video. Let me turn this off. That is so weird. It says that it's on. There we go. Now it's off. But, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. This was a review of Cyanogen Mod 10.1. And also, if you're wondering about battery life, if you're wondering about data, this phone is not activated. I am not using it on Sprint's network at the moment. I am only using it on Wi-Fi. Since this phone is not my daily driver, I cannot really tell you guys. So what I recommend doing is just going into the forums. There'll be a link in the description to it, of course. And just read about it, see if anyone's help see if anyone else is having issues. But from my experience with it, most of the stuff is working and battery life is as usual, the normal battery life. So you guys, thanks for watching this video once again. And if you haven't seen my JG and Play introduction video, then I'll have a link to the description of my new channel. It's basically for personal stuff, uh, gaming videos, basically whatever I want to post on there that I wouldn't normally post on the on my main channel. So you guys, there will be a how to install video link in the description. Thank you for watching for the fourth freaking time. Goodbye.